Hey guys, Tyler back for episode four of the trailer build series. Um, today we're going to be going over the install of what's called e tracks. E tracks are kind of a newer product. Um, they look like this. They're just long strips that are used to uh, tie down your machine, whether that's a dirt bike, a quad, um, a side by side, anything like that. <clears throat> today I'm just going to go over how we're going to be mounting these into the trailer floor. A um, couple different trips and tricks and tips that you should uh, take along with you when you do your install. But uh, I'm just going to measure everything out and then explain how I'm laying everything out and why I'm laying it out the way that I am laying it out. And I apologize if there's a little bit of noise in the background. We're also doing some other projects at the same time. So let me go ahead and measure up uh, how I'm going to lay these out and then I'll show you what I did. Alright guys, so I have installed the first set of E-Tracks successfully. Um, if you're wondering what kind of screws I'm using for when I'm drilling into the actual frame of the trailer, which you're going to need to do for these, I'm using these Everbuilt uh, hex head screws. These are self-drilling or self-tapping. Um, you want to make sure that you're using self-tapping screws if you're drilling into the metal. Uh, standard wood screws is not going to get through the metal. And even though these can drill through the wood as well, I was actually drilling pilot holes with a uh, drill bit just to make it a little bit easier um, because what, what was tending to happen with the um, with the self-drilling screws and even the um, wood screws that I was using, because I went with such thick ones, the as I was trying to screw it in, the screw was moving back and forth and wobbling all over the place. So once I drilled the pilot holes and just kind of gave the screw um, a place to go, everything went in much smoother. So what my recommendation would be is to drill a pilot hole and then drill your screws in. And like I said, um, these are kind of like houses. Every 16 inches on center, you're gonna have one of your steel beams. And the easiest way to find the steel beams is actually just to look for where they had screwed in the plywood already, because the plywood has to be screwed into the frame of the trailer. So what I did is I found two screws here and here, and then uh, made sure that I lined up the front of the track with that and then measured 16 inches, and you'll see there's another screw right here. 16 inches again, another screw here, and these um, hex head bolts, these are all the ones that are screws. These are all the ones that are gonna be drilled into the frame right there. And then I also, because um, I didn't have enough track left, I had two more um, spots on the end where I could screw in screws, and that's where I used those wood screws. And uh, I mean, these screws would probably hold down the track good enough, but I figured it's at the very end, which is kind of a weak point. The next closest point is, you know, four or five holes away. So I figured the wood screws would just give it a little bit of extra strength. Um, if I did happen to mount a uh, point right here where I was gonna use it to hold down stuff. And so along with these E-Tracks that I'm installing, um, we're also gonna install these anchor points. And these are really good anchor points as well. Um, these are gonna end up going in the corners of the trailer, like here, in the other corner, in the back corner, and then the other back corner. So basically what's gonna happen is we're setting it up so we can put two side-by-sides in here, one towards the front, one towards the back, and you're gonna be able to use all the different mounting points to mount the, uh, or to tie down the machines any way possible. And then um, another thing that, you can also do or that you want to do is make sure you're measuring off this off the walls um make sure they're nice and even just measure everything up like i believe uh between the wheel well and the very edge of this track is 18 inches all these measurements aren't going to matter for you um because every trailer is different but you just want to make sure that everything is nice and straight and then also another thing to think about that um i went back and forth over is i didn't want to run these e-tracks over with the machine constantly so I measured the inside width of the tires on the machine and it was 46 inches. So the, the, from outside, from the very outside of this track to the very outside of this track is about 44 and a half inches. That way uh, it gives the tires a little bit of room so I can ride on either side of the tracks and I'm not constantly running them over. So I'll go ahead and uh, do the other tracks and then I'll show you what the whole thing looks like and we'll tie down the machine and uh, give you a look of uh, how strong they are. All right guys, so we made some serious progress. I have all of the E-Tracks installed. Um, as far as a difficulty meter on this type of project, 
I would probably give this like a 5 out of 10. Um, anybody who knows how to use a drill and can measure, this is a pretty simple project. Um, it probably would be nice to know a little bit of construction background, but like I said, for the most part, it's pretty easy. Um, all you need to do is measure off the walls and find the distance that you want it, uh, like how far away from the walls on each side, and then keep measuring up the entire length and try to make sure that it's nice and straight. And then also make sure that you have the same distance in between, and that's gonna make them nice and straight. Um, I wasn't super, super worried with them being perfectly, perfectly straight just because it's a trailer. It's not, you know, something that you're going to see too often or worry about. The machine's going to be rolling in and out, you know, stuff shifts over time, but they're uh, straight enough for me. And like I said, so what I did was I tried to find, uh, I tried to line up the holes on the E-Track with the um, supports underneath. So every 16 inches is the center of a support. So I tried to line up the center of the hole with the center of the support so I wouldn't miss when I was screwing into the, uh, the steel support beams underneath. So every 16 inches, I have a bolt that is going directly into the, uh, into the supports. And then anywhere where I couldn't hit a steel beam where it just, I didn't have enough space, I didn't have enough length, like here, for example, the 16 is here. Um, and I ran out of E-tracks here. So I just used uh, heavy duty wood screws to screw into there. And uh, I'm really not too worried about it. I'm going to try to avoid to mount um, the little clips where there's wood screws and stay where there's steel. But I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, this wouldn't be moving around, that it is secure either way. Um, and the machine is going to sit in the middle most of the time. So I'll probably end up strapping the front strap all the way up to here, which is uh, in a steel beam. And then the very back of it, probably the farthest back the strap will need to go is right here. And then, like I said, when we actually have two machines in here, we're going to use these uh, flush mounts where we're going to have to drill a hole into the floor and then mount these into the, uh, the steel beams as well. And that'll be another video. But as far as the E-Tracks go, uh, installation, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the machine in and I'll strap everything down and I'll show you guys um, how these straps work and why the E-Tracks are, really, uh, e are really nice because you can mount them anywhere. So uh, let me pull the trailer fo forward and I'll load the machine up and show you guys uh, how it works. All right, so now that the side-by-side uh, -side is in the trailer, um, you can see how with the E-Tracks, it's a really nice setup because even though this thing is 10 feet long, I have a couple feet that I can come straight down and lock in the front of the side-by-side. -side. And then when I come around the back, I can also do the same thing in the back. Um, I wanted to have a good chunk of the weight over the tires. I think I may actually just back it up just a little bit so I come back a little bit more. Um, I do want tongue weight on the tongue with the trailer. That way it's not swaying back and forth too much. Um, but I also want most of the weight on the uh, tires. I want to let the, the tires do their job as well. So I'm probably just going to back it up a little bit and then I'll show you how the E-Tracks work, how you can clip them in and then strap the machine down. And uh, that's it. All right guys, so the machine is all mounted up now. Um, yet again, you could see the versatility that the E-Tracks offers. Um, you could move these little clips that clip into the floor anywhere you want. Uh, you can move them back all the way to the end, or you can move them forward if you had a shorter machine. Um, the only thing that kind of stinks with the E-Tracks is you have to use their clamps. Um, so you have to buy these separately. Um, they're a couple bucks a piece, but once you have a couple of them, um, they're pretty strong. I don't think I'd have to replace these anytime soon. Um, but yeah, they just kind of clip into these tracks here. There's a little release on the side. You just pull up on that, slide it in, and it locks. And then you can tie down to any one of these little notches in the E-Tracks. And like I said, the, the nice thing about it is the versatility. If you have a shorter machine, you could slide it forward. If you had a bigger machine, you could slide it back. So I have it mounted back here. It goes around the frame and is strapped down. And then in the front, where I did the front section, I also have the front section all strapped down. And like I said, it's nice and easy. I did this with just two straps. Um, if And these are heavy duty straps, so I only need one for each side. And they're just kind of chilling right now. I'm gonna crank them down before I leave. 
But uh, overall, I'm very happy with the E-Track system so far. Like I said, we're going to end up adding some more corner post ones as well for some extra uh, strap down points if we have another machine in here or a quad. But overall, the versatility of the E-Tracks, it's a, it's a really nice setup. Um, if you guys have any questions about how I installed it, what kind of screws I used, where I bought it from, any of that kind of stuff, go ahead and drop it down in the comments section below. Um, like I said, this was a pretty easy project to do. I really think that anybody can do this. And uh, like I said, if you have any comments, drop them down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to be doing more with the trailer build. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, if you want to see what else is going to happen to it, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.